basic way ever and first this is your color this is your color this is where you change color you can go up and down to select which color you want to choose if you don't have this remember go back to window and you're gonna see color right there go back and click on see color and it's gonna come back up and you just pick a color this actually it updated so if you're using the color you're gonna have like darker version like the fading version if you got like green you're gonna see light green and dark green so you don't have to like try to pick the color so the switches switches really help and for the sake of the video let me just choose a basic skin tone color and let's say I want to color her face uh, with this color choose the lasso tool so you can stay in your area if you don't know how to stay in your area you're not that good I recommend use the lasso tool select the area you want to paint and you can use the paint bucket tool to fill it in but that is a terrible idea don't ever do that I recommend that you just use your brush and go over it so we want to do the same to the to the hand of the and we want to want to copy the same thing with the lasso too let me see if this gonna copy let me get rid of that and we're gonna let's select this back go back choose the lasso tool and we're gonna select we're gonna select the hand and go back to the brush and do the same thing you did so let's say for example you accidentally change your color and you are your painting black on this what you do is to get rid of that you can go to edit and click back but if you want your color back if you want to get your skin color back you click the color picker this is the button over there you select the face wherever color you want whichever color you want click on that and go back to the brush and you will have that exact color that you begin with and you can just fill it in that's the basic most simple way to color we're gonna create a new layer uh, color red that's gonna be our primary layer for this whole painting process and on that layer we're gonna paint the main color of the character so this is number two and number two is when I paint the character we've been working on so you got the layer red and we're gonna select a color like I just told you to we're gonna select a brush to get my paintbrush to select a skin tone and we just go ahead and start painting I said use the lasso to the paint I'm a pro I don't write I don't, I'm not a pro pro but I know how to stay in my lines if you don't know how to stay in your lines use the lasso too but if you do please no don't don't go ahead and take this way take your town very very slow and they're gonna work don't go not using no lasso too no I did tell you I'm telling you for real if you have my Nigerian friend he's he just told you Pico no just listen to him this Pico know what he do you hear me all right so just go ahead i'm just painting right now and just filling out the boxes and i'm gonna go ahead and keep on painting till i can see something and i will let you i'm just playing but yeah keep we're gonna keep on painting on your primary too which is the red remember the red is the first one we painted on red that's where you choose your color that's where you choose what you want to paint which color you want to use and that's all up to you 
You hear me? I hope you remember this. I hope you remember this. Cause I'm pick on I'm not gonna do this video anytime anymore. Cause this be the last one. Take it for heart. You they hear me? Okay. So don't mind him, don't mind him. I'm just playing. But yeah. Go ahead and just keep on painting on your primary layer. With your primary layer, you should know that's your layer, your background layer going to be on it. So we're going to create another layer, and it's going to be on the primary layer. So because because it is on the primary layer, so whatever we paint is not going to harm the main layer, the red layer. The red, you see, is at the bottom of the layer, so it's not going to cause no damage because it's at the bottom. Get it? Because it's at the bottom, it's not going to cause no damage. So when you painting in Photoshop, make sure that your background layer is beneath your uh, second primary layer because that's not the primary primary. Alright. You hear that? You hear that? Look at this boy. Now you did learn something new. Oh my god. Thank God for your soul now. Photoshop CC. <laughs> so we're gonna create a next layer in any chat. We're gonna create the next layer. The next layer is gonna be over all the layers. That means whatever we paint on that layer, it can harm the bottom layer. It can harm any other layer. We're gonna color it uh, blue. And I had to change the color of the background layer to orange, if you can see. So you can remember that the background layer is orange, the middle layer is red, where we choose the color, and the blue layer is where we go ahead and paint anything. We can go ahead and paint. This is where we color everything. We go do corrections. I was gonna make this photorealistic. I'm like, I'm just doing a tutorial. I don't want to spend too many hours on this this thing and I'm not even trying to paint something magnificent so I didn't even go ahead and paint something magnificent I just go ahead and just paint yeah, yeah nothing be magnificent I hope you chop this for your brain because this beginning already tell you now you not go make any more video that prospecting the aspect of Photoshop CC <laughs> what the world was that missing person? <laughs> but I'm just saying, just keep on painting. Like I said in the old video, just keep on painting, and you will eventually get better at it. And then my Nigerian friend over here will keep on singing. He's not singing, but he told me he can sing. So if y'all if y'all want to hear him sing, I can ask him. But then they picking them, they they not go reply now. Make and go sing for ya, hey ya. Look this way. I'll tell you, say me bobo na play football. What the word? <laughs> this man tripping. Okay, okay. I'm just playing with you. I just don't want you to get really bored watching this video. And but I have to cover every step. So my brother gonna help me anywhere. With this every step that we did take now, he gonna help me with it. So you're not gonna get bored. Yeah man. Okay, chop this for your brain. Make sure you remember. Remember that the blue layer is the primary layer. It's gonna affect every 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 drawing that you don't do for this painting. Remember that. And the red layer is the layer that is second primary. It's, be, it's over the background layer, so nothing will happen to it when you touch the background layer. You did chop that for your burn. So I'm going to go over that because don't listen to him. I'm going to go over that. The blue layer is the primary layer. So whatever we paint is going to harm everything in the painting. And the red layer, which is the middle layer, is not going to get harmed by the background layer because it's over the background layer. So when you're painting... You always create this maybe three layer. This is basic. This is not professional. I don't. I don't think a professional should ever paint like this. So I went ahead and add gradient, and just click on the gradient button, and 
you remember the light source i said it's gonna be coming from up did i say that yeah but the light source coming from up and these men don't distract me no we're gonna put the light source right there and we're gonna put the light source in front of her so everything in the painting can be facing her like she's the main attraction this is the most simple if you want to create something at least it looks real and it looks like you took time to paint it this is the most simple way you can do it create a gradient that's the light and we're going to do over layers so it can bring that feeling to the painting like it's actually it's the environment that you that you in and we're going to create another gradient gonna make that I want to make that darker so let's go back let's go back and we're gonna make that darker gradient and we're gonna put it behind her because everywhere behind her should be dark it shouldn't be I don't want it to be bright because I want the focus to be in front of her in her face I want you to look at her face so I want to create another gradient and I want to make it darker because you see the block in front of her is dark it's not light so it just look off and we're gonna create another gradient and put it put it in front of her I know right now you cannot see the see see the painting but this is what you're gonna do after you create both gradient excuse me uh, this is what you're gonna do after you create both gradient we're gonna make them over layers so you're gonna click on the on the function key like the effect key don't worry about the time man. we're gonna click on the effect key and we're gonna click over layer so if you click this it's gonna be over the layer it's not gonna harm the layer but it's gonna be there it's gonna we're gonna do it for every single gradient after we do that I'm gonna duplicate my blue layer that's what I do this is the most simple way you can paint in Photoshop it's not professional work, people. And you hear him? He said he's not professional, so make him don't judge him no more. You hear? Him? All right, we're gonna take that painting, we duplicate it, and we're just gonna gonna keep on painting. That's usually the most simple way you can do a painting in Photoshop. First layer, second layer. From the start, we had to do a sketch. Remember the first video? do the three-step process we came here and do the three steps process so six process and we'll create this painting and we're gonna keep painting because this is not the final one I don't really like the way it look now oh all, all you gotta do is just cover all the all your blank spots like you remember the duplicate layer go over everything so it can affect everything so what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna cover everything in the painting whatever we paint it's gonna have a really they're gonna they're gonna affect everything in the paint because it's over every layer the red layer is over every layer remember that we we'll start with the red that, will, that was our color and I merge the red with the blue and that's what we got are you tired you hear me talk all right I'm gonna tell my Nigerian friend to let you know I did talk say my picking don't show y'all the way to heaven if you don't hear me, so make and don't judge you. Hey, yeah. This video not go be boring like American people don't say I'm. I they tell you, say this picking don't know. You know what? I'm just joking. But you don't know. 